In this video, we're going to look at how we can define member properties and adjust member properties using spreadsheets in SRAM. And a few reasons why we might want to do this. First of all, it allows us to easily manipulate our model with a lot of precision. Using a numerical interface, it's a lot harder, excuse me, a lot harder to hide details. Uh, and so that makes it very easy to also verify the applied properties. The power of spreadsheets as well allows you to update a number of items all at once and you get a lot more control over what's happening. Because you can import data from Excel or Microsoft Access, which I should put on here as well, um, it makes it much easier to grab information from another source and import it into s -Rank. So we'll continue working with the model that we already have. And the example that we're going to look at right now, we're going to look at the uh, rendering of this model. And we can see here that we've got these I-beam sections that have been assigned a specific section property. And right now, the gamma rotation for the member axis orientation is zero degrees. And this means that the webs of each of these I-beams are aligned with the x-axis. Now, we can access member spreadsheets by, first of all, clicking on the member definition tool, and then right-clicking on a member that we're interested in and then go into Properties. And this will open up a small little dialog that shows us the spreadsheet uh, that we wanted to look at. So this is showing us the members' properties because we're using the member definition tool. And here, I can scroll through this, and I could make a change to my angle of rotation. So rather than 0 degrees, why don't I enter 90 degrees? I'll press OK. And you can see that that's updated my model there. I could also go into the spreadsheet. And I can go to the member spreadsheet. So under the spreadsheet window, I clicked on the member spreadsheet. And within this, I could do the same thing. I could change it. I just get a little bit more space this time. And the change that I make here will actually reflect in the actual geometry window as well. So if I go back to the geometry window, now both of my members are rotated. So you can see what effect that has. This information is also easy to copy and paste into another program like Excel. So if I wanted to use this information uh, and perhaps massage it a little bit more on mass with Excel, I could do that very easily. The one thing I would recommend is that if you do that, you notice that this spreadsheet has a number of drop-down lists here for our sections or materials, basically any data category that has more than one option. So if I want to make this easier to import and export, SRAM can actually replace the list here with a detailed uh, code that corresponds to the number in the list. So for example, this is section number one, C100 by 11 is section number two. And I can replace that detailed drop-down list with a numerical code by just unchecking this. And now I can see section one, section one, and section two is my C100 by 11. And that works for all of our other values as well. And then what I can do is I can copy and paste this information out of this spreadsheet. Or I can also just left click this row number here, cell, and copy the whole thing. And then I can bring it into Excel. And once I'm in Excel, really there's no limit to what we can do with this information. Uh, this works not only for input information, but also for output. So I could change some of these values. I could go back to zero degrees for these two uh, member axis orientation values. And I can then copy this whole thing again and paste it back. And you can see that it's changed that angle. I can also toggle whether or not I want to replace the numerical codes with detailed drop downs. And again, my angle is still zero. So when I go back to the geometry now, they've rotated back to their original orientation. And for this particular example, I'm actually going to rotate them once more again. So I'm going to this time use the geometry input window here and just set 90 as my member orientation angle and apply it to both of these members. So essentially, what we've seen here is that effectively anything you can do graphically through the geometry or loads window, you can do through the spreadsheet window as well, numerically. 